Happy St. Patrick's Week! I'm so glad you guys are joining me this week. This entire week is going to be filled with Irish dishes and desserts that you can make on St. Patrick's Day with your friends and family. Today, we're going to make Irish soda bread. The cool thing about this recipe is there's no kneading, no proofing. It takes just five minutes to make the dough, and it comes out with a biscuit-like texture. I had a lot of fun making this recipe, especially because my sister, who's the baker of the family, actually came over to help me out with this one. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You're going to start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees, adjust your oven to the middle rack, and then grease a 10 inch cast iron skillet. To start, you're gonna to whisk together your flour, sugar, baking soda, and salt. Then you're going to cut your butter into small pieces and press them firmly to separate them and mix them well within the flour. You're going to do this until the flour is nice and chunky Then you're going to add in your raisins or craisins. In this situation, we used craisins. Separate the craisins so that they're individual and not lumpy. Mix thoroughly in your flour. Next, you're going to whisk together your buttermilk and one cold egg. Back in the mixing bowl with your flour, combine your liquid mixture and fold over with a spoon. Be sure not to overmix your dough. You're gonna want it to be light and crummy like this. Next, you're going to throw your dough out onto some flour on a board. Then you're going to mix the rest of your dough and form it in a circular shape. Be careful not to overmix your dough or knead it because this could result in an extremely tough bread. Next, you're going to place your dough on your cast iron skillet then use a knife to score the top of the dough with a large and deep X. Next, you're going to bake in your preheated oven for 50 to 55 minutes. Your bread should come out looking like this. When you knock on the bread, it should give you a hollow sound. And look at this. A delicious, moist, warm, fresh loaf of bread right out of the oven. This is the perfect side for any dish on St. Patrick's Day, like corned beef and cabbage or even a shepherd's pie. Stay tuned throughout the rest of the week for even more recipes that you can make for your St. Patrick's Day gathering. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, a special thanks to my sister for helping out on this one. See you guys next time!